Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna explain how you would be able to model such kind of uh, shapes in ETAPS, that is the dome shape, that is basically a hemisphere and conical section here, as you can see on the top of the minara. So let's start. Well, I will start with the first part, that is I will start with the cone of this minara, okay? So it is very pretty simple, okay? It's very simple. So let me start with the first one. Now, we can start with uh, drawing the, a line that would be used to uh, form the shell element, that's the cone element. And I can draw a line using the none element, okay? Now, let me draw it here, okay? Uh, let me go to this level, okay? To this level, if I wanna know uh, how I should get to this level, I can go to any, okay? Now, I will go to this level, okay? This level, Minara ring. So, uh, let me go the, there, okay? Uh, on the plan elevation, on the plan level ring four okay apply and go and then okay now here i will draw my line okay that i will select the none element okay here it is this is the none element okay it will be used only for drawing purpose and some uh, uh reasons and it will not affect our uh structure okay now let me draw it here okay let me draw from this point now go up one floor now I am on the topmost story, okay? Now I will click it here, okay? Done, right click. Now if I see the, uh, if I check the 3D, this is how it looks like, okay? Now I have got this line that's inclined from this end to the center of the cone, okay? Now I can transform this element into a shell element. Now I can select the element to do that then go to edit, then go to extrude frame to shell, okay? Now, with this, I will go to the radial because it's going to be a kind of circular element, okay? So go to radial, okay? If I exactly know the center about which uh, the element is gonna rotate, okay? Then it may be easy uh, to just write, to type it here as we like, okay? However, if it's difficult, maybe to know, or uh, for many reason, the simpler one may be to pick a point on the model, then we will make this one rotate about that. Now, let me pick this one, okay? Pick this one, then go to your model, okay? To your model. Sorry. Uh, Okay, that's not that much convenient. Okay, like this. Now let me select the element, go to edit, then uh, extrude frame to shell. Now radial. Let me work, let me make this one. Pick one point. Now I will select the center that we are uh, we want it to rotate about. Now this is our center. Okay, our center. Now it asks me what are the angles that you want it to rotate, okay? The differential angle, okay? For every segment. If you want, if you if you are interested in this 10 and so on, you can use this one. Let me use a more, uh, let me make it maybe uh, six degrees. So this one will be 360 divided by six. Okay, 360 divided by six because this is the angle and this is the number, okay? Now I want to delete the source, this none element should be deleted so i will select this one take this one now everything is complete i will now go to apply now the cone element is uh, created now now this element should be assigned to the appropriate uh, section okay now i will select the cone element let me delete let me close this one now i will assign the appropriate uh, shell element okay shell so here I have already defined this element that is the Minara cone, 10 centimeter thickness. And I'll go to apply. Now I do have the cone section on the top of my Minara. Okay. So this.
12 meters, okay? So it needs one additional step than the previous uh, shell element, okay? Now we better go to maybe our AutoCAD. Now the center to center of this dome is 12 meters as I have said. So you need to create, okay? You need to create a model, okay? A hemisphere, okay? Let me create a sphere, okay? Let the diameter be 12,000 mm, okay? Millimeter. Now I need half of this, okay? Half of this. Now I need, I don't need the bottom part, okay? Now I need to uh, divide this element into some appropriate segments so that I can draw it on the etaps, okay? Now I will, I will uh, divide this sphere or the left half or maybe the right half okay, of the sphere into some appropriate segments, okay? With some angle. Now I will divide it into every 10 degrees, okay? Every 10 degrees and I will show you how to do that, okay? Now, this is a, a division of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 90 degrees here, okay? You can, if you want the right one, maybe uh, we, we can mirror it here, okay? We can mirror it here, like this. Okay, and now I don't need this one, okay? Now, I need to know the X and the, and the Z coordinate of each uh, node here okay of each node here now let me have the first one is just the radius of the element okay the z is zero now the second one x is uh, how much this much and the y is uh, this much okay and the third is like this and the y is like this and so on okay Now, once we have these joints or these nodes coordinates in the X and in the Z, okay? Because it is the X and the Z, okay? Now, we need to go to our software, that's the ETABS, and go to the axis on which the center of this dome is lying, okay? Now, let me go to the plan view, maybe the first floor, maybe, okay? Now, the axis on which the center of the dome is lying is on axis. Okay, on axis 7, okay, this is 8, or maybe you can view it here, okay, you can view it here, this is, at the center is 7, so I will go to the elevation on axis 7, okay, now on axis 7, then apply, done, now I have here, the, uh, the ends of the dome is now clearly visible for me, okay, now, I will have the two windows side by side, like this. Now, I need to have the window explorer here, okay? The window explorer here. So I'll go to options as I have discussed in the previous video, show model. Now the window explorer is now clearly visible here. Now let me go to my model here, okay? Now here, I will start drawing these points. Starting with the first node, okay? This is our node, the first node. The first node is already uh, defined here, okay? This is our first node. Now the second node is the X. X is how much? X is uh, 5,909 and the Z is 1042, okay? In the X, it is this much, and in the Y, it is this much. Now, 
I need to draw the nodes, okay, or the joints. I will go to draw, then go to draw joints, okay, draw joints. Now it gives me x, y, z offsets. So I will have a center, and from this center, I will offset these locations, okay, these nodes. Now, since it's in the positive, in the to the right of the center, okay, this is our center, to the right, it is positive how much? 5909, okay, and vertically, it is positive 1042 now here i will light x uh, 5909 here 5909 and in the z it is how much 1042 okay in the z it is 1042 now once i say enter i have to select the node or the center from which these nodes are going to be drawn so this is my center and once I click on this now we get this node at this specified location and in the same way let me draw the second one the second one is this node this node has an offset in the X that is 5638 in the X then I say 5638 in the X and in the Y it is how much it is 2052 in the Y 2052 okay now once i say enter then go to my center then click on it then i get the second node okay if you go to the third point to the third point now this is my third point okay it's my third point it has an x offset of 5196 okay 196 and a z offset of how much three meters okay now again go to draw draw joints and here in the x i will write 5196 5196 and the z it is 3000 sorry sorry this is three okay uh, yeah 3000 this is in millimeter okay now i go enter now select my center then i get the fourth joint and in the same way we will draw each one by one okay last point is this where you have the x offset is zero okay the x offset is zero but the, the z offset is the radius of this circle that is six zero 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 okay now i will select the center please don't miss this point okay this is the center okay not here so i will pick this one sorry here six thousand i mean okay now let me select this one now i get half of my uh, dome okay now i will delete this one i don't need this one this was by mistake now i need to join these nodes with a line element okay that's maybe you using the none element okay so this none element will help us in drawing our shell elements basically and also for uh, some uh, other functions okay it's used now let me draw this using the none element and we will delete it later okay we will just use it for drawing purpose now select here start joining these nodes okay let me make a full screen okay now let me select this element join click click up to the last node okay okay so this is my last node or my last joint now if i check it on the 3d okay maybe we can see that i have drawn a kind of line here okay kind of line here now let me go to my elevation on axis 7 apply now i need to convert this line into a 
shell element on, into a hemisphere okay now i will select the whole element and i will select i will go to like the previous uh, model that the con uh, element i will go to extrude and extrude frame to shell okay frame to shell similar concept will be implemented here radial will be used here now i need to select the center the center is already defined here okay here is our center okay now pick one point on the model now go to here and select this so automatically this element will be filled by the software itself now let me select some appropriate angles okay maybe 10 degrees so this will be 360 divided by 10 that's 36 and so on okay and total drop will be left or kept zero now I, I i don't need this element so need to delete it okay now let me go to uh, this uh, apply what i have decided here close now let me check the 3d okay let me check the 3d now i see that my dome has been completely uh, created okay in etaps now again issues the, the thing will not stop here okay always don't forget to assign the appropriate section for the dome for example i have already assigned some shell element in this lab form so slab section and it has got uh, maybe here dome 10 cents or 100 millimeters then i will say okay now it assigns the dome 10 centimeter to my shell element okay so this is how you can easily easily assign any shell element this is now half the uh, sphere it can be in less than half the sphere it can be some segment of the sphere okay maybe this top part only so the same procedure will be followed you need to model it on autocad and divide it into appropriate uh, segments then model it like you have seen here on this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it can support me okay it supports me so and don't forget to comment and like the video please thank you for watching see you next time